I loved so many things about this book. And one of the things I loved is that the buoyancy of it, um, and also that it was such an engrossing page turner. I almost missed my Metro stop because I oh. stopped reading. The moment in the room when you heard, and the winner is Sabata here. What went through your mind? What was the first thing you thought? It was, it really was disbelief. And I completely understand that that sounds, that might sound disingenuous, but truly I had like tucked myself into the table. I was very comfortable. I actually didn't remember, I didn't, I'd written a speech. Um, so I'd written it long before, but I, you know, I was like, I'm not going to bring it with me. And then my husband printed it out and he had like tucked it into my purse. So I was actually like, oh my God. And then I was like, did I bring the speech? I was like, okay, maybe I can read it on my phone. Um, it was just really surprised. And then also, um, also gratefulness because there was this sort of wall of like people who stood up and it just felt like such love. It, it was such a beautiful thing. I've really, I've never experienced anything like that before in my life. I don't know if I ever will again. It was, it was absolutely overwhelming in just the best way. <laughs> what foods fueled you as you were working on this book? There is a very specific food that fuels me with all of my books, and it is green and black's milk chocolate with almonds. It is so dangerous. I can go through like 10 bars a week if, if I did not have to worry about giving myself some type of chocolate poisoning. <laughs> What's one piece of writing advice that you'll never forget? It's not exactly writing advice. It's something that my mother said about writing. My mom said, half of writing is dreaming. Let her dream. And that has stuck with me as a piece of advice that I have given young people. You have to be able to continue to love writing, to write and to have joy in the process. And so much of that is letting yourself dream up the story. And last, my beautiful readers have told me my books make them feel less alone. You make me feel less alone. I have been a misfit and an outcast and lonely and lost, but when I write for you, I am none of those things. And I thank you with all my heart for that gift. Thank you.